behalf of uh, New York Roadrunner President Mary Wittenberg and the more than 150 New York Roadrunner members, the thousands of volunteers on race day, and the two and a half million spectators that will be out on the course on Sunday, November 4th, Leah, it's my great pleasure to officially welcome you to the ING New York City Marathon. Thanks. Welcome to what I hope is going to be one of your career highlights and a great day for you in New York. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm definitely looking forward to it. Um, I would put this up on a pedestal as far as race experience of a lifetime, right up there with the Olympic trials. I know that it's one of the greatest marathon fields assembled in the world. Um, something I definitely have wanted to check off my list for a long time. and. I can't believe that I've, <laughs> it's, it's a true <laughs> honor to be invited to be a part of that field and that experience. So I'm very much looking forward to it. And I think one of the more exciting things for this year's race is that your fans, all of your fans and, and, and people that have followed you and watched you win four Little Rock marathons here in, in Little Rock will be able to watch you on Sunday, November 4th on ESPN2. We have a three and a half hour live broadcast of the race. So make sure that you're wearing, you're wearing all your Little Rock stuff and also make sure you're in the front of the pack for a little while to get plenty of TV. Time. Go out hard. <laughs> yeah, they will definitely, I mean, all my friends are very excited and I had a huge following of people actually come down to Houston, um, which was fortunate for them to be that close. And New York being a little bit farther away, I've got a few friends coming up, but I know everybody will be will be tuned in anxiously, awaiting you know for me to make that surge to the front. No, <laughs> <laughs> no but they'll be really looking forward to watching the race. So that's wonderful. It's going to be televised. We're all very excited about that. And what, do you know anything about New York and what you're thinking about the, the New York course and uh, how tough it might be or how I've much fun it tough. might be? I've heard it's tough and I've heard that it's very fun and I have, you know, runners from all, all speeds and, and um, levels of competition. So I have people that say, well, don't go run for a time there. You've got to soak up the experience. I went, well, <laughs> I've got to run for a time, but I've heard that it's challenging. Um, and I've heard that relative to Little Rock, it's, it's comparatively hilly and difficult. But Little Rock's where I ran my best. So I'm, I'm looking forward to hopefully just running strong and having a great experience. Leah, uh, the field is going to feature Olympic champion Tiki yes. Galena, several of the top Olympians and things like that. Um, what kind of strategy and, and, and what you're thinking about you know, going out and, and, and running the uh, running uh, the ING New York City Marathon. Will you try to run your own race, or will you? I think you have to. I think in a field like that, I can be optimistic in thinking I want to run the best race for myself. But for me, as my personal best is a 237, and I look at you know someone like Tiki Galana who ran a 222, I think it would be a little bit foolish. Um, you have to pay attention to the pace and know that they may be running a strategic race rather than trying to run a 222 that day. So I think if you can get in there and mix it up in the beginning because they're going out at what for them is pedestrian pace, then that's great and you have to soak up that experience. But at a point in time, you have to be true to what the fitness level you're at and focus on running a competitive race for yourself. And there will be plenty of people at my level as well. So I think it bodes itself for an excellent experience either way. Well, one thing that we like to say in New York that you're never going to be alone. We'll have 47,000 uh, runners, two and a half million spectators, and I'm sure that there'll be uh, hopefully some people from Arkansas, from Little Rock, all there to join you. And as I said, if not, tune in to ESPN on the live three hour and a half coverage on Sunday, November 4th. It's going to be a fabulous day. It's always a fabulous day. And we, again, we welcome you to the ING New York Thank City Marathon. Thank Marathon. you. Um, I think with any marathon, there's it's it, 26 miles is is a long time for things to go right or go wrong. So I think I have the same fears and nerves about any race, and then of course that's a bit amplified when it's in a field with the talent level. You know, like Richard said, there's world-class Olympians and several of you know people who just got through tuning in to the Summer Olympics. Many of our American Olympic runners from the 10K and the 5K are going to be there. So it's kind of one of those things where you just have to step on the start line and accept that you belong there. But at the same time, you're standing amongst these women who are such great talents that it's just hard to not be in awe. So I just, I think once the gun goes off, it's all a matter of executing a race. And, and I'm comfortable with that. It's just um, wrapping my mind around being in that field and in that atmosphere prior to the race start. Once, I, once the race starts, I'll be okay. <laughs>